talk to us about the fight. Uh, was Marcin kind of what you thought he was going to be? I mean, he you know, got dangerous leg locks. He, he was a lot better than I expected, honestly. Um, you know, I, I came in the fight thinking, you know, he's got really good footlocks, goes for a lot of footlocks. I felt like he took a lot of damage going for them. So I thought that, you know, if he goes for locks, we're going to defend, we're going to get on top, we're going to punch. Um, I knew that he had pretty good takedowns, but I thought we were going to out-wrestle him. Uh, but he just timed me well uh, a few times. Um, his base and position on top was awesome. You know, like I'm, I'm used to going with, like, really good jiu-jitsu guys. I'm used to being able to sweep them, move them around a little bit, get back to my feet, you know, pretty much doing what I want to do. But he was solid. He had, like, a really good base. Uh, striking was about what we thought it would be. You know, I, I landed some good shots on him. He hit me a couple times, but nothing nothing bad. Um, he he struggled for a takedown in the first round. I hit him with a bunch of elbows. And I, honestly, I thought the fight was over. I, th I thought, you know, he, he I, I was talking to him after. I, you know, I think I, I flash KO'd him, you know. And then I, I hipped in on him, but he woke up, you know, and did a great job. He survived. Um, but I, th I thought, you know, I, I kind of, I, I want to say, blew my load a little bit going for the first one, uh, going for the elbows in the first. But it's the way it goes, you know. Um, you know, I, uh, I, thought, I thought he had the second and third. Uh, second round, I think, was pretty close. But, you know, as the fight happened, you know, we're thinking, okay, we never give ourselves the benefit of the doubt. We always think, okay, if it's close, it's his round. So maybe the judges, I know there's new scoring criteria, so maybe they, they looked at it as, you know, his positional control wasn't as important as the strikes I landed. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I thought he won the fight. Does it, does it kind of damper things a little bit? I know you want to take the win, but I know there's always going to be criticism. And everybody yeah. puts that on the fighter, and it's, it's not your fault. I thought it sucked before when I thought I won a fight and I got and I got lost. This is worse. Honestly, this sucks. You know, I, I feel like you know, it, it's great that I got the win money, but I 100% thought he won the fight. You know, so I'll go back and watch it. You know, maybe I won't be so critical of myself, but uh, I thought he had the fight. You know, I feel I feel honestly I feel guilty. I feel bad about it. You know, because I was in his shoes last time. Um, you know, he's coming over from Bellator, and you know he, he's, he they, they match him up with Diego. He has a, a tough outing there. You know, altitude everything like that, and then he gets kind of I think he gets screwed on decision. You know, that's that's super crappy. That's a really bad start 0-2, and, and he's really good. You know. Uh, I'll be harassing Sean Shelby, like, got to keep that guy around. He's, you know, he's, he's really, really good. I know you've always been really analytical when it comes back to yep. your past fights. Is there something you could already think about what maybe wasn't working for you this fight and things you need to go back and focus on? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are a couple things. I, I, I went a little bit lighter on strength conditioning stuff, you know. Um, we, the, for, for me, the, all, the most important thing is always stay as healthy as possible, you know. So if I have something that's bothering me, you know, junior strength and conditioning is the first thing we pull back. We dial it back a little bit. And uh, my neck was bugging me a little bit. My wrist was bugging me a little bit. So we pulled all that stuff back, and he felt a lot stronger than me tonight, you know. And I didn't think that was going to be the case. I thought I was going to be the stronger guy. Um, so we'll definitely we'll, we'll pick up strength and conditioning. We'll keep it even if, with injuries a little bit. We'll kind of keep that a little more important next time. Um, had great jiu-jitsu. I thought he was going to be kind of a one-trick pony going for a lot of leg lock stuff, but had great base, great position, great jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, I think that because we're good about, you know, kind of breaking people down, there's been some fights where we know 100%, like we game plan perfectly. We did not game plan perfectly for this fight. You know, he was, you know, uh, a different animal than we thought he was going to be. Yeah, I just, I went and talked, you know, we were doing photos after. Uh, I got checked out by the doctor, and uh, his wife came and grabbed me and wanted to know if I go talk to him. You know, I, I, f I feel bad, honestly, because I know, I know how bad, you know, it, it feels like losing a decision like that. Uh, you know, I told him, I'm like, dude, I'll harass Sean Shelby. I will, I will make sure they're not going to, you know, let you go. Um, you know, because it's, it's just crappy, you know, it's crappy to come back, you know, come in with an 0-2 start, you know, but, but he's good, you know, I, I'm sure he'll treat it like a win. I know a lot of times after a win, you know, guys, you know, the motivation, the, the momentum's going forward. I don't know if you feel like you have the momentum I don't. for the next win. <laughs> I mean, because normally we'd say, hey, what's next? How soon do you want to get back in? Does this kind of shut it down for a little bit? You just kind of want to re regroup? Uh, I, I was going to shut it down anyways, right away. You know, like, I'm, I'm always in the gym anyways, but, like, um, I, I had a couple of, like, little stupid nagging stuff that, like, I just, because I was training at camp, I couldn't really t uh, tend to as much. So I'll definitely tend to those a little bit more, but it, it's a weird spot because after I fought Jim Miller the second time, I thought I won that fight. I treated that fight like a win, even though it was a loss in the scorecards. And then we come into this fight, I kind of felt like I kept a little momentum going. And then, but I feel like I lost tonight, you know, despite getting the win. So I don't know. I'm all, I'm all screwed up. I, you know, I guess it brought some balance, but it's just crappy. It's crappy, you know, feeling like you know, I feel guilty about it, honestly. It's, it's crappy. Did you get a chance to watch CJ's fight? Uh, I didn't. I was doing photos. I, I, I saw the finish. You know, I'm, I'm bummed for him. You know, he, he shouldn't go out like that. But I don't know. I mean, it looked like it was, it was going well. I was just getting bits and pieces of it. It looked like he was doing okay until the finish. You know, I thought he got he got dropped, but he was. It seemed like he was recovering for a little bit. He got hit a bunch on the ground, but I felt like he was still in it till the very end. So, I don't know. Bum for him. He's like, he's a really really good friend. He was, he was your coach on Ultimate. He was Fighter. my coach. He was the reason I went on the Ultimate Fighter. I went out to Hawaii. I stayed with him. You know, for the better part of like six months. You know, super tight. You know, I don't talk to him all the time because I don't want to bug him. But, but dude, I, I care about that guy so much. I know you said you want to kind of recover, take a little bit. But looking at the end of 2017, how many fights do you want to get this year? Is there 
you know. Uh, so it's so early in the year, you know. We'll probably get, try to get two more. You know, probably fight like you know, June, July, and then maybe November, December. Yeah, I would guess. You know, it, it depends how fights go, though. You know, if uh, you know, if, if if I bounce back health wise and you know I feel real good, you know, maybe we'll fight sooner. Maybe we fight more like May, and you know, who knows? You know, uh, it always depends how the fight goes. You, know, you have a fight, and you knock a guy out in the first round, first minute, you, you, you bounce right back, you do it again. Other you get beat up, you go a little further. Other names that make sense. Uh, I I don't see I, I'm I'm in a weird spot like, I'm in such a weird spot you know what I mean I, I think I always have good exciting fights I think I have memorable fights um, but I, it seems like I, I win one or two I lose one I, I win one or two I lose one you know it's like it's it's tough so I, I'll fight whoever they want me to fight I like kind of being that utility guy that can you know I can be a fight pass prelim uh, fight pass main event I can open a pay per view I can be you know co main event tonight um, so I'm it doesn't matter Where, wherever they need me I feel like I'm duct tape you know wherever they need me I'll, I'll go. We have you on uh, Facebook Live right now. Uh, you know, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Joel Ozon. Uh, but, you know, I, I appreciate all the fans. Like, I love Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything, YouTube. Uh, we do video blogs. We do all kinds of stuff. Like, I tr we try to be super active on social media. You know, I think it's a great way to interact with people. And I, and I love the support, you know. Uh, I wish I could have done better tonight. I got the win, but I, I think I should have done better.